Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another Black Desert Tiny Guide. Today we're going to take a look at Amnity, or most people refer to it as the conversation minigame within Black Desert Online. Amity is a favour system with certain NPCs within the world. Many quest givers and vendors have an Amity score, which you can more easily see by changing this option in the game option setting menu, Show Amity Ring. What this does is it gives you a ring around the NPC you're facing, showing on it how much they like you, and what, if anything, unlocks when you reach a certain Amity score with that person. There are ways to gain and lose Amity with an NPC by performing certain actions with them, greeting an NPC with with the F1 when you come to see them will wave at them and give you one amnity for example which is a nice but RP way to lose energy and gain a single point of amnity with them. You can steal from an NPC by getting behind them and pressing F2 however if you fail your amnity will go down into minus numbers sometimes with that NPC. This can even prevent you from getting quests and items that you ordinarily could from them, so be warned. But the main goal of amnity is to talk to them and to gain their favour by talking to them about things they like. All of that data can be found in the knowledge system and certain monster knowledge links to certain NPCs, but on the most part it will be other NPCs that you have discovered which they will want to talk about most. The more NPCs in the town or place where the guy you're trying to talk to you discover, the more options in the conversations you will have to choose from. For this example we're going to take a look at this guy, the armor vendor in Altanova Media Province. I'm going to use him as an example as he is a regular target of players attempting to get affordable prices for Grunil armor set pieces without having to resort to the auction house purchasing. And so you can see that both his Amnity Ring and the ring on the left when you talk to him unlocks his Amnity wares every 500 Amnity gained with him at his shop. Bear in mind you do not lose all the Amnity you have with the NPC when you buy from them, but you will lose a certain amount so that 500 Amnity will decay, meaning you will need to talk with him more than once after your initial purchase of your Grunil chess piece, for example. The game has many complex mathematical calculations players much more fanatical about this side of things could tell you about in other videos, but I like to keep things simple, so I'm going to tell you them as basic as I can. At the top of the screen, once you have initiated a conversation with your selected NPC, it costs energy to do so, by the way, per go, you will see an objective on the top of the screen. These can include accumulated favour gain, fail to spark interest, spark interest, acquire maximum favour, and any number of those with consecutively fails or consecutively succeeds a certain number of times. So at the bottom of the uh, screen here is a list of NPC icons of people or places you have discovered. Usually by just interacting with them in the world once they will show up here. Each one of these will have a percentage listed which shows the success rate of gaining favour and sparking interest. Uh, so higher is obviously better. If we were after a fail to spark or fail X number of times with something, uh, we would actually look for a negative or very low percentage score here, giving us a higher chance of failing. Examples on screen include here gaining sparking interest four times in a row, so we would choose those on this ring down here with the highest percentages listed, giving us an extra chance of success by choosing those over others uh, that are actually listed with lower scores. There's still a chance that we can fail, but we limit this by selecting these most likely candidates each time. Now there are instances where you just simply get an impossible goal. For example, this guy gives you a fail five times in a row with this guy. It's impossible because nearly every single possible NPC option down here has above 70% chance to succeed and spark interest. So when that happens, you just simply need to press escape and try again. That's literally all there is to it. RNG has a funny sense of repeating itself here and really is down to your own luck what you get. For this reason, each time you succeed in a goal, you you should think twice before pressing the continuous interaction button. This is a gamble feature and can effectively add more amnity game for that conversation at the cost of no additional energy. However, this is totally up to you and sometimes you do get lucky and get over 100 amnity per game. Sometimes you think you hit the jackpot only to hit an impossible situation and then you lose 
all of that amnesty you have gained in that conversation because you've basically gambled and failed. Amnesty then is shared between characters on your account, so it should be noted that using your Rolf's energy by bringing them out here, or even bottling your energy from those characters if you can't be bothered to bring them out here, is a valuable addition to your efforts and will help immensely, adding to the collective attitude towards you actually playing a family rather than just a main character. Anyway, hopefully you have found this helpful. Be sure to check out my other videos on the channel, many of which are now Black Desert related. Uh, there are other titles and we'll continue to do other titles as well as Black Desert in the future regardless. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.